Main Street, the heart and soul of every small town in America, always filled with commerce, activity, and most importantly, people. People usually walking up and down Main Street, shopping, spending, enjoying themselves. A lot of small towns have had a difficult time over the last decade due to COVID, rising prices, e-commerce, a lot of online shopping, and then generational uh, changes. You know, a lot of these people have owned the shops for 20 years, 30 years, and their kids have just found other things that they'd like to do, unfortunately. Um, it, a lot of it is because of expenses have gone up and a lot of these small mom and pop short shops just can't survive on Main Streets. I'm talking about Butler Main Street today though. It was started in 1800. I have found three signs Butler Main Street is starting to make a huge comeback. My name is Sadler Priest. I am a local realtor here in Butler, PA. I love the community. If you'd like a tour, look around, see some houses, maybe sell one, I'd love to help you out. Please like, comment, subscribe, or check out my information for more. My first example, I'm gonna start with a question. Why would you get in your car, drive all the way down to Main Street, fight with parking, hide from that parking enforcer, we all know her, and, uh, and then go into the shop, spend your time and your money and your resources, you know, it, why would you do that? It's called experiences. The successful new businesses on Main Street are selling experiences. They sell a vibe, an entire experience, an atmosphere when you walk in. They have amazing things. You want, to, you want to support the people because they're great when you walk in. The people are amazing. Again, it's about the experience of doing that. You don't get it from a few clicks online. People go downtown and spend the time shopping to touch things and again for the experience of Main Street and the people. Um, a couple of things that are on there now that are amazing. A lot of these empty shops have now been filled and, and a lot of these have to be adapted. So a lot of them were set for old, like there was an old bank that was turned into, I think a yoga studio uh, and a game type thing across the street. There was an old Rite Aid that was turned into a brewery. So you have to adapt and change these things so that they are adaptable and that they can be used now. We have skateboard shops, several tattoo places. Uh, we have yoga on Main Street, like I mentioned, amazing hip um, eateries that are great to go into. People love going there for lunch and dinner. Uh, thrift, thrift stores with up, upcycled material in them. A lot of great experiences to go down to Main Street um, and then the social media has been big as well. So you have a reason to get down there because they're getting in funny with that social media and doing what they should. And my second one, if you know anything about me, I am a huge coffee person and we now have two coffee shops on Main Street. I heard rumors of a third one coming of a nonprofit inside the art center, but I'm only gonna talk about these two uh, primary coffee houses that I do love. I love them both equally. The issue is, is that one's on North Main and one's on South Main. It just depends on which side of the Main Street I'm at, and that will decide which coffee shop I'm going to. One is a, a long-standing coffee shop, uh, does coffee and candy. It's been here, it's rooted in Butler community, and it's been here for, for a long time. They make a great cup of coffee, great experience when you go in there, and the people are great. They root for Butler, and they, they participate in a lot of things for Butler. The other one is the new new uh, new people on the block. Uh, they're amazing people. They do a ton for the community. They're always willing to uh, support people when people ask. They have a great vibe inside of there. Really, really relaxed atmosphere. Makes you feel warm, comforted. And again, the people are great. It's a great space. Um, yeah, again, coffee. That's like my go-to right now. I drink it all day long. I love it. And uh, that is one of my sure signs that Main Street is coming back. We got coffee houses, neither one is, I like Starbucks, but neither one are Starbucks. These are local owned businesses. And number three, I am so excited about this one. I try and get in there whenever I can. The Penn Theater is being renovated. This theater has been here. There's an upstairs uh, theater part of it and a downstairs. I mean, there's, there's 70, 80, 90 years of rich history in this. My wife's father has told me that he stood in line in that movie theater when he was a little kid waiting to watch, I forget which one it is, but an old Disney movie when it came out. Peep, this thing has been vacant, uh, I, I believe over a decade. Um, there was a roof leak, people have tried bringing it back, it was just too costly, and to be honest, a lot of us thought that it was probably gonna be demoed. The building next to it to the left there burned down um, a few years back, and we kind of expected the Penn Theater uh, to be 
taken down. Nobody wanted it to be, but we just didn't have the resources in Butler to fix it. We had an amazing gentleman uh, out of state actually come in and I would call him a philanthropist because the things he wants to do with this, this theater are, are spectacular. Um, he even talked about nonprofits using it for runways um, up at the front stage. It's gonna be used for movies, uh, bands, just a community center for performance. It's gonna be really great for this community. I'm really excited to see those lights lit up again, to see uh, people up and down Main Street waiting in line to go into a show, just the excitement on, on Main Street. I am gonna have a lot of these videos going forward about the Penn Theater. Um, actually, my most watched YouTube video is of the Penn Theater when I did a full walkthrough of that. Um, if you'd like to see that, that is on my YouTube channel, I'll put it below. And my name is Sadler Priest. I live in Butler, Pennsylvania. I am a local realtor serving Western Pennsylvania. I do have a full service team. We love what we do. Please like, comment, subscribe. Just reach out if you guys need something. I am a, a nice local guy that I uh, am fine with chatting anytime. So if you guys need any information on Butler uh, or beyond, really reach out.